everyone and welcome back to we're we're picking back up the uh, Scottish disaster as uh, this went from being very optimistic on my part to me being a blunder um, yeah I'm just I'm a terrible military commander that's what I am but um, <clears throat> so where we left off last night whoa man that shot us all the way up there it's not a cool game so we have, we lost, uh, I mean, we basically lost all of Ireland. The one remaining province we held, I sold. I'm a little bitter that we lost this, although, uh, you know, England still hates our guts. I did a little bit of testing this morning before I uh, went to work, just for kicks and giggles to kind of see how I could play it differently in the future and I do think that I do have a method to the madness and um, I think a lot of it involves being passive um, passive not in the sense that you're not doing anything but passive in the sense that you're trying to placate England as much as you can and uh, I was I was actually had some success doing that so in the meantime, we are now back to square one. Um, you're kind of curious uh, what's going on. We have lost some territory. We had a blunder of a war with England, although England, uh, England's got their own problems. Um, they're not as great as they once were. They're still not one of the great powers, which is quite fascinating. And in the meantime, we have some monetary issues, uh, big time monetary issues, which is okay. Um, but in the meantime, man, we've got huge ass corruption issues. So, oh, we got some problems. Um, but I'm going to continue this for a little while unless it just doesn't really sort itself out. Although we haven't, we paid all our loans off. We've just now got massive amounts of corruption and I'm going to have to debase my currency again, which is great. Not really, but that is what it is. And yeah, Northumberland's coming for us, which is, truth be told, fine by me. I would like to, I don't know if we're going to get that back, but, uh, you know, uh, that, that really kind of is what it is. Something just happened. Oh, wow. So, manpower did recover. Hot dog, we gained stability, which actually is a good thing. Um... So we can defend the nation. I don't want to really do that. Yeah, we're gonna take what is what do we have to do this? Five city oh gosh. I hope that stays around. Let's let's go ahead and take it. You know what? Fifty percent. Uh, yeah, we can't lose the money. So Mary law Mary died. That could be bad. Personal union on the monarch's death with who? Oh, that would be terrible. Well, I may have just ended this all like pretty quickly. He's fifty-eight and she's thirty-five. Oh. Well, I may have done goofed up. Well, maybe it means we're starting a new campaign tonight. This may be the shortest uh, stream before I reload something. Hmm. I wanted to kind of play around and see how far into Canada I could get, but... Actually, personal union really wouldn't be that bad. I really kind of hope it's Northumberland. I hope it's not freaking connect. That would be terrible. Although, what is going on here? Peasants. Good for Northumbria. Let's see, what are you doing? Are you protecting trade? Yes, you are. Good, you need to protect trade. Um, okay, yeah. Oh no. They attacked us. We have more troops than them. Double oh no. Um, let's see. 
So of course naturally our next province is going to be this one followed by these and we'll just continue the snake around Canada and down. Um, unfortunately both of well we don't know what this one has yet. Why do we not know what they have? We should know it. They have fish. They both have fish. Fish is terrible. Not a huge fan of fish. Not only in real life but in this game. Huh. It is worth noting, how is this colony growing? Pretty dang well. Um, but we're losing money still, which is troublesome because we really don't we don't have an economy that can stabilize itself. I don't really want to take any more loans, but uh, it's just a freaking disaster getting our butts handed to us by England was terrible terrible and I was playing on the edge I really was I was just going 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 took my foot off the gas if I had not started the colonies when I did I think I could have repelled England but that is what it is that's hindsight a lot of it was bad bad commanding by me they had a really good general my general was says he was a two-star. I saw no, no evidence that he was a two-star, which isn't that uncommon for me, at least. Uh, as a relatively new player to this game. Um, yeah, I just botched it. That's what happened. But, you know, we had a good run. And it doesn't mean that we can't continue to have a good run, because even if England does, like, absolutely crush us, we have this. Not that that means a whole lot because we really can't support colonies, but you know what? Whatever. Um, you know, whatever. Although I will say this, we desperately we we need to we need to get to where we have some positive income, big time. Big time, we need some positive income. You know, I took that quest. I took that mission. Uh, wow, that would be nice. That would be really nice. We are losing quite some money per month. Which, truthfully, bothers me a lot. But, not a whole lot I can do about that. I would love to get rid of this corruption. But that's going to take some time. And it's going to take a stable economy. Which, we really, we don't really have that. Which is okay. But our manpower is recovering, so there there is some, some some there's some bright spots. I don't want to act like they're all negative. Uh, is there anything we can do here? We can strengthen the government. We can reorganize it. I don't like any of these acts so far. Yeah, so that's really all we can do. So in the meantime, I'm going to stay focused over here because this is our future we can continue to attempt to placate the English although the English just hate our guts and I mean rightfully so we screwed them over they screwed us over you know bing bang bong although they did get the last laugh the most recent last laugh let's let's say that alright we need to uh, be ready willing and able to debase our currency again which I'm not really thrilled about that, but you know what? Whatever. Death of a merchant. Um, yeah, we'll take the money. Forget that. That that prolongs. That gives me a little bit of more staying power before I have to debase that currency. Hard times in Scotland, if you can't tell. Although that personal union isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, corrupt admiral. Yeah, I realized that. We, man, we're just... Wait a minute. What? Oh, so we can lose some inflation? Yeah, we'll lose that inflation. That works, I think. I mean, it's supposed to work. 
750 settlers. Oof. Looks like though we did get a good jump there. 780. Yay! Um. Yeah. Oh wow. 454. Four. We can take the legitimacy hit. We can actually lose the Pickle influence too. Because there actually may be something we can do here. Um, when we get two more, we can gain some legitimacy. What else can we do? I forgot all about that. That may actually help us a bit. All right, I need to keep my eyes on that because I'm really tempted. Yeah, we need to do that. I say we need to do that. Ah, we'll figure it out. We got a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but we got a little bit of time. We really just need these things to, these, we need this colony to grow. We need it to grow. We need it to grow something fierce, although we got a better air out of it. She'll be a good air. Even though she only has an average claim. Let's see. How's our... The finances are not great. But I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world. 840. Which is fine. Basically, we got two more... Uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight. Eight, three months. Yeah. We basically got like three months left before we're going to have to debase our currency, which is fine. It really is fine. Um, we should be getting our next Diplo idea, which is really what we're going to be after, to tell you the truth. Um... And the fact that we got fish in both of these provinces really is just rotten luck. England declared war on their new enemy, Northumbria. What is this? I have no clue what that was. But I can go ahead and tell you that I do believe Northumbria is probably going to go down. It's going to go down without, without batting an eye. Okay, so let's... Uh, We'll check back in on that. All right. So January, we need to debase. Debase that there currency, boy. And we'll see how bad Northumbria gets killed. All right. So there we go. They're almost there. Is that 885? Um, ideas. Can we not take another one? When is When are we going to get that free colony? 401. Oh man, we're close. All right, well, let's go ahead and debase our currency, which is realistically what we need to do. And uh, that's going to give us another 56 ducats. Yay, but corruption grows. And I hate my rain. Um, so now while we kind of let that do its thing. Oh, freaking A. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to take the legitimacy. A shared interest. See, there one hundred diplo, or James game, or James the third gains one diplo. Did he just gain that? No, we got the hundred diplo. <laughs> I was like, man, did he just get that? That would have been awesome. So free colonies. That's stellar. Because of that, we now our ship cost ten percent less. I wonder. I think that's actually the cost. Well, actually, um does appear that that has helped the economy a little bit and now that should be getting a boost there so let's go back to Scotland and let's see how bad England's gonna wear it wow they have seven regiments already holy crap who are you I'm actually curious who's fighting in this war okay what about you Northumberland and Switzerland. Now that is an odd pairing, if I've ever seen one. But we'll see what happens here. Whoa, Cornwall. 
Showing up, trying to do a little bit of sieging. Good for them, I guess. Salzburg. We're not Salzburg. Alright, so we'll check back in on them a little later. Y'all gotta be getting close. 915. Come on now. Let's see what else we got coming up down the pipe idea wise. Eventually Viceroy's. That would be really nice. Um, as well as Postal Service, which would be Ooh, that would be really nice as well. That'd help the economy. Um, let's recall the diplomat. Whoa, you've eaten Brittany. Would you take a royal marriage? No, you probably never will. Huh. We can. We will just improve relations with you. Yeah, we still got some that we can do that. And like I said, this is where I think you're going to see England absolutely just waylay our Northumberland friends. How's that siege going? Not as well as I think they had hoped. All right, what is that? High naval attrition. Okay, so are they going to come back? I don't know what they're doing. Maintenance on that thing is through the freaking roof. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a problem. I can solve one of our problems rather quickly. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to I'm going to try to sell that ship. I wonder if France would take it. Let's see how bad. Yep. France takes that. We may actually be able to get in the black. Uh, stability cost modifier tolerance the true face. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, sure. We'll have a cardinal as minister. That's not gonna hurt my feelings. Not one bit. Yeah, I gotta sell that heavy. What am I doing? That was a blunder by me. All right, so that colony should be happy and good to go. Maybe we can let our corruption fall a little bit before we advance a little more. Hot dog. So we can core that. Alright. Make it a core. Doesn't cost that much. I'm happy with that. I need to monitor this. Then we're going to see if we can sell France or Austria heavy. I think that's probably the wise thing to do. Make a little money on that. Um, yep, and we actually, I think we'll be sitting pretty. Um, sitting quite pretty, to tell you the truth. Keep that up. So that's going to be October, November, December we'll be able to sell it. That's, that's definitely going to be. Why is England not just absolutely waylaid them? That's what I don't understand. England has such a small army. Uh, where is England? England, 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 England. There's no way. Let's find England. Where are they? England has a huge army. Where are those troops and why do they not siege that down? So we can lose money, but we'll get the prestige. Okay, we'll take that. And it is December. Let's see if we can sell a ship. So the game is paused. I would like to sell you a ship. Well, you're the recipient of war. France. Is France it? <laughs> Okay, France. Well, that is stellar. Does the Pope want a ship? The 
Pope is at war. Does... Are you at war too? Well, who's not at war? Provence? Mm, wait, you're not at war. The fleet. Well, you're at war. There's no fleet in Castilla. Well, that is just peachy. Denmark. Yes, I will gladly sell you a ship. Um. Okay, we got to break it apart. So, let's do that. The Phoenix. You are the third fleet. All right, Denmark. They wouldn't even take it if I tried. Norway? They don't care about that either. Wonder if any of the Irish would. But they're all at war too. Well. Brittany, are you at war? Would you buy this? You would buy it. But only for 20 ducats. How much does one of these cost to build? Uh, that's a raw deal for us. That's a real raw deal for us. Okay, who else would be interested? Would would you buy my ship? <laughs> That's a resounding no. You maybe Sweden would buy it. Nope. So it looks like the only purchaser that I can get right now is Denmark. No, it wasn't Denmark. It was what Nor Brittany? Is that who it was? I can't even remember. Yeah. And we can, I mean, at the end of the day, though, it's either disband it or hold on to it and have our money just get waylaid. So, yes. Sweet. Yeah, we're now poor. That's just awesome. But these guys can now go protect trade. And hopefully that will... Oh, we're making money now. Like I said, we, it was going to get us to the black, and it did. Although I hate to sell that ship, that is what it is. I don't remember buying that ship. There's the English army. There we go. There we go. Alright, so the real question becomes, this thing's good and good to go. It's up and running. It's growing like a champ. This bad boy's growing like a champ. Pretty well. <sighs> we're going to have to wait. And I think that's just what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to wait a little bit of time. Wait to get some more advancements. Our economy is actually doing much better. Much better. And we, I mean, we really, we need to let some of this corruption kind of do its thing. So we're going to bump it up to four speed. Uh, I know, I know it's a little fast, but we don't have a whole lot going on. Although, wow. It would, I would love to see Northumberland actually do something. Um, so we can support the clergy, support the philosopher. Uh, we lose one stability either way. Either way, I'm not happy with that. Although it'll be interesting, like I said, it'll be interesting to see what Northumberland does with this war. Um, it'll be real interesting. 
have a feeling they're gonna get just murdered, but you know what? That's on them. Uh, yes, they can, because Northumberland's probably, yep, they're gonna die. There's England's big strength. There they are. There they are. It's it's nice knowing you, Northumberland. We're probably next. Which is fine. We gotta get rid of this corruption. Wow. Are you a vassal? No, but I'm actually kind of rooting for you now. So England is now a great power now that they swallowed up Northumberland. So they have made everything right. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with them. We'll definitely take this military tech though. Because we're still behind on tech. Which is fine. Each year we'll lose a bit of corruption. And we really want to get to a point now. I mean, it's 1535. We're, we're closing in on 100 years in this campaign, and we've still got several hundred to go. If we even, well, we're going to make it that far. I just don't know. If somehow we get wiped out here, uh, I think it's going to be real hard to justify having a colonial nation because we basically will have, have, we will have had fled. We will have have we I don't even know what I'm trying to say is this English Cuba oh god they've already made it to the new world it's okay though Canada will I don't want to say Canada will be ours what am I even saying I have no guarantee that Canada will be ours hopefully it will be we gotta make a little more money though we gotta at least get to a hundred We've got to at least get to 100 ducats some way. Um, let's see. So England's doing what England does influence other nations man I would love to get some subsidies from someone yeah so as I said earlier I guess we'll do a little bit of learning because it's been some learning for me um, I did a little bit of testing this morning when I got up before my wife and daughter woke up and um, before I had to go to work too and my test yielded that you can actually probably sit back as uh, Scotland and it at least worked this time. Oh no. Well, the Pope's gonna hate our guts. That's okay. Sort of. Well, I think we can maybe make some amends. God, he hates our guts. Yeah, he does. Alright, so England may be coming after us. If they do, they do. Um, I hope they don't, but if they do, they do. So, anyways, uh, what I was going to say, I did a little bit of testing early this morning, and as Scotland, I was able to uh, sit back and basically work on my economy, work on building the right buildings, and eventually England actually came down, so England declares war. Um, that's great. All right, so uh, we're now at war with England, and we're not going to fight these guys. We're actually going to send y'all all the way over here because I have a feeling that this is just going to end in disaster for us. Um, big time disaster. Highlands. 
coastline highlands highlands we're gonna march all the way up here and we're gonna force them to fight us and yep there we go I, I'm almost convinced that we'll just see what happens um, so had a battle there not really sure what happened but um yeah I have a feeling this is gonna be it for us although we're still making some money while wow, we're getting subsidies subsidies from who France hot dog There they go. So we won. Did we even have a general? We don't have a general. But this is going to be this guy. So we at least beat them. We we'll marched over here. Siege this down. And see what happens. Uh, we still have 2%, so, um, which is hilarious to me. I really have no desire to fight England. Uh, and they've sieged that down. That's just stellar. They can, can oh, there's going to be a battle. Ah, they're marching troops. Let's actually slow this down. They get a crossing penalty. We rolled really well in that phase. We rolled really well there. They have no leader. It would be rather hilarious if we beat them here. And we lost. Can we sue for peace? What? I have to I don't have the money to pay that. Oh, this is just a total disaster if you're just tuning in. Oh man, yeah, this is just going to be a disaster. There's no way I can win this. We're getting destroyed by England. Absolutely destroyed. I guess the best luck we would have is maybe, just maybe, we can march down to the south of England and try to just catch him off guard. Although he's going to very, very quickly and very easily make mince meat of us. I guess the only goal that I really have out of this is to... Uh, try to hold on to the fat well are we not getting subsidies anymore no we are why are we losing money I guess because we're having to reinforce these guys all right well why don't y'all just go wait till the end of the month oh that's not cool oh we can't get there well this is not good not good at all it's gonna spell the end of us at least in Scotland for the time being. Which is fine. I never really cared about them anyways. I mean the only way that this happens is if someone declares war on them, but we're probably effectively just gonna get kicked out of here. Which is fine. They'll wipe our army. They'll clear out everything. We'll have to get rid of some ships, which naturally needed to happen anyways. And, uh, yeah. That's fine. We 
We're making money now. Yeah, we are. Not a lot. Yeah, they can come attack us. I don't care anymore. The writing really was on the wall when we lost the war. Last night. And I guess the question becomes, we're kind of starting from scratch. What is it going to look like? And I would just rather them go ahead and siege everything down. They can have it. And you know what? The remnant will be in North America. All right. They did what they had to do. And we're probably, like I said, we're probably going to get wiped here. That's fine. They can wipe us all they want. I actually really don't care about that because they wiped that army. Some of the army maintenance goes away. I know that's probably not the most humane thing in the world, but let them come. Kind of is a disaster a little bit, but once this war is over, then we can really focus on what happens and we'll go ahead and speed it up because the inevitable, I mean, it's just inevitable. There's no way we win this. It would take just an absolute miracle for us to win this. And that's, you know, that is what it is. They didn't completely wipe us, so. We do. How do I get him to detach? I don't, I don't want him leading that army. Just go ahead and force peace with me, please. Yep, there he goes. Is he dead? That would be a good question. No, he's not. He magically teleported to the New World. Logan Sinclair, everybody. He's got a... Uh, should be a stable government. Um, ignore them. Yeah, there should be a stable government. I completely agree. We had a good run. Can they even siege this down? Alright. Well, let's go ahead and just make them work for it. The longer we do this, the more subsidies we get, which isn't that bad. Boop, 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 boop. King James is now a scholar. Yay us. Let's recall the diplomat. And let's see what happens. Someone's going to have to challenge. Someone at some point will have to challenge England. It's not going to be us. I have a feeling England will end up eating and forming Great Britain. And uh, good for them. It was, I'm not going to say it was poorly played, but it was, it was not as well played as it could have been by me. And I can very objectively say that. Maybe this will cause England to have a coalition to form. Ah, uh, you just never know. You never know. I would hope so, but England is kind of removed. So. A lot of learning for me. Yeah, we'll, we'll take good relations. So, let's go ahead and sue for peace. So basically we're going to see Lothian, Fife, Inverness, Sutherland. Wait, we won't see the Western Isles. We lose prestige, but do we, do we not lose any money? Uh, wait, why aren't you taking that too? Well, so I really don't want to fight you, but okay. Fine. That's stellar. So this is now our capital. How do I move my capital? There's got to be a way. I want to move my capital here. 
How do I make this my capital? I want to make this my capital. How do I do this? Hmm. I don't know, but we do need to check a few things. First thing, ship. We are we need to get rid of seven ships. Which realistically means all these barks need to get sold to someone. Which we can do, and we now have a lot of money, which is worth noting. That our new economy is doing well because of the subsidies. We'll, we'll be losing a lot of money. Um, so there are a couple of ways we can skin this cat. I like that name first. The Gulf of St. Lawrence. Okay. And then select this fleet. And let's actually send them back to port. And we'll see if Austria is willing to purchase. So we're now a minor state, but we can take another idea, which is that's actually really good alright and they're at port so let's talk to Austria hey Austria I would like to sell ships to you you don't want that alright well I will find a buyer if I have to break every single one of these ships down into Actually, no, this may... I'm doing... I'm being dumb. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Break them into two. Break these into two. And so, basically, we have got the first, fourth, and fifth. Alright, let's see if we can sell these. Austria, would you like to buy some ships? Um, ten ducats. No bueno. France. You would buy those. You would buy those. What about you, Brittany? You will not. actually buy those yep there you go happy hunting ladies and gentlemen all right so we have sold these we've gotten enough money what is this doing for oh we're making a ton of money which means we can now go colonize which makes me happy um, makes me actually really happy we can go ahead and try to start some stuff up all right so Let's click on this province. Let's send him there. Send that guy there. Let's send that gentleman there. There we go. All right, so we're going to run at speed four. We're going to go ahead and get those two guys up and running. And in the meantime, um, They are almost at their ag cap, okay. Although they grew. I really would like to just build a mill here. Oh, that's right, I can't build a mill there. Well, that is not the worst thing in the world. Um, we actually can reclaim wasteland, which we'll go ahead and start doing. I hope we can. In fact, since we're not going to have a whole lot of issues over here, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do it. Let's build this colonial empire. That's right, England. You may 
have created a few problems for me, but that is what it is. I guess we could build a church over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. While we're making money, let's let's do it. At least our corruption is going to fall. Uh, what does this say? Alright. Deflation impact. Happy to see that. 33.3 chance there. England's going after Thamond. Yeah, they're going they're gonna unify. That's their big that's gonna be their big goal. Yeah, we need to work on that prestige. All right, so we papacy. What can you do for us? Foreign merchants distrust us. Yeah, right. No, we don't. We're not going to use that just yet. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I need to slow that down. We got we got rebel problems. Which is problem? Well, do we? Don't think we do. Doesn't look like we do. Fifty-nine, two fourteen. All right, so that's going well, as well as it can be. Ooh, we. This is going to be interesting to see really kind of how that plays out. Did y'all build that church yet? Yeah, you did. Good for y'all. Boom. All right. Well, now we get to run on fast speed and see how big of a colony we can build. Because effectively, we're going to get kicked out of Scotland. Because England just about controls all of that. That truce expires in nine years. England is still problematic. What's interesting, England still has continental holdings. One, continental holding. Let me rephrase that. They have a continental holding. And I probably need to answer a text that I got. Excuse me. Woo. And so, at this point, because I, had, I so mismanaged that war from a couple of nights ago, we're just, we're really building new Scotland over here. It's kind of like the old Scotland, it's just probably colder. Alright, so they canceled our subsidies. We knew that was going to happen. How bad is it? It's not as bad as I thought it was. Although 209, 338, ah, these things need to grow. Although we have we have reaped the benefit of falling corruption, which is a good thing. Still not great, but I don't know if you call this a recovery. I mean, I really don't. That's just me. I don't necessarily call it a recovery. I call it a, a we ran for our lives. And we're now just completely out of it. In fact, I don't even know. Yeah, we probably need to collect from the North Sea. But we don't need to collect from the English Channel. We want to collect here. And who is that guy? Ian. We'll probably have a little more luck doing that. Uh, yeah, we'll gain some inflation for some admin. That'll let us take another idea. Gives us an additional merchant. 
Okay, I can live with that because we may be able to steer some trade power. Now we got another merchant. In fact, I think it will. What flows into there? We don't know what flows into there. Oh, goodness. Well. Well. Oh, so we're going to get some fur. It's got an additional merchant. What can you do here? Let's just have you transfer. Price of fur changes? That's awesome. We need to use some more of these fur. Uh, shipbuilding. We're not building any ships anytime soon. You're high as a kite. How are you doing? You Are y'all both fur? No, you're fish. 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 Freaking fish. Like, that's just not cool. And it looks like we had another stability drop, and that's because, yes, our king died. Which, quite frankly, is okay with me. So, how are we doing economically? Not as bad as I thought we were. How are you doing? 545, and you're sitting at what a whopping 623. And our corruption's down to 15. I will be real happy when that gets below 10, which it'll happen in eight years ish. More than that. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, no, no, no. More like 10. But in a decade, yeah. Really, in 30 years, corruption will be rooted out, and uh, that'll probably pretty well for us sad day the general died not that we're gonna have a whole lot of problems because right now we're just not we were flying high but uh, that's just kind of how it goes when you make bad decisions like I did and you fight wars very poorly that's that's just what happens you end up losing land when you lose land it's not pretty and then you have blunders so and that by and large for the most part ended up being a blunder I think I can say that relatively objectively I did not play it great they can have the Western Isles oh so we got NATO problems let's pause that and we can march up and take care of them get rid of them them their NATO problems Okay, trade expansion. That's always great. Please get there. Of course they're going to win. Doing fairly well. You're still growing. And that's good. We want to see some of this growth. This growth is good. This growth is what's going to sustain us. Uh, if we're to make it in the new world. And I think in order to do that, we're going to have to expand as quickly as we can. Which means, realistically, I mean, you look at that, we're in, oh, our army maintenance, we can probably lower that a bit. Which I'm actually fine with. Uh, we will get to a point where we're really not going to be able to support two colonies at once at least for the time being. Now, as these things grow, it, it'll help. It will help. Let's see, how are our institutions? So they already start with all those. Okay, new person in service. That's good. We can protect our trade. Continue to go inland. And we'll see what happens. Um, 
see, you're sitting at what? 866, 895, you're both probably going to tick at the right time. Uh, we will, we will, we will attend. Accommodation with natives, okay, that's good to know. 873, please tell me you got a good bump. 898, good. Good, good, good. All right, so the natives rose up and we put them down pretty handily, which is good news. We can take another idea. Okay, that's not bad. Finish this one out. So we now have Rain in the Clans. That's great. Now we can start focusing there again on acquiring Diplo ideas. Or Diplo tech. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yay, we now have some stuff. 961. Uh, 911. I guess the better question is, I think we will continue to just try to keep our territory uh, in check for the time being. Okay, that's good news. Alright, well we got a lot of stuff that's firing. First thing we need to do, we need to core this. And that stellar... Uh, how is this affecting our economy? Still losing a little bit of money, but we can work with that. So land has been reclaimed here. And let's take a look at this because it's very, very undeveloped province. Uh, ag capacity was 11.95 out of 13.95. Um, all right, so we hit great. And now it's grown a little bit. It's it's getting there. Still growing like a weed, which is fine by me. Even with that small growth. What is it done? Um, a little better. Not great. Although this should trigger relatively quickly. And as soon as it does, we'll reap the benefits of the mission we took. And then we'll have to figure out where our next colony is going to go. We'll probably try to build up a little bit of money. End of religious turmoil. I didn't even know we had religious turmoil. I, I want to live peacefully with the natives. I know what it's like to be around a bigger empire that causes problems and I did not enjoy it oh y'all gotta be so close nine eighty four come on tick over that's beautiful excellent 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 so we can Merchant bankrupt. Yeah, we'll salvage that. All right, so we can now create another state, which I would like to. There we go. And as a result, we're now doing pretty well. We can actually build up a little bit and we should complete this. One, two, three, four. We gotta get one more. We gotta find a way to get one more. Um, is there any way I can... because we've just kinda seeded the fact that we know we're gonna lose these two. Uh, how can we find a way to trim some money? from this budget. We gotta get to two. I guess we could probably 
cut down our army maintenance a little more. Root out corruption would definitely get us there. You know what, let's actually roll the dice. Okay, where do we want to go? We can go here. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go there. And we're going to send our troops there. And because we will make a we'll build up a little bit of surplus. 180 days is roughly six months, give or take a few. So we'll make a little bit of money and we'll see maybe if just maybe some good things can happen. Now we can definitely do this. We're going to focus on agriculture. In uh, Cape Ray. And uh, let's see, that'll be one, two, three, four. That'll be our fifth. Cardinal across the border. That's fine. We, uh, I don't, I don't care about that. At this point, I mean, we're kind of all by our lonesome in Canada for the time being. Although it does appear, is that France? Yep, France has uh, created Charles Fort, which is probably where Charlotte comes from. Or something like that. We have uh, completed our little bit of a exodus. And um, yeah, so we're now going to go after that. How is our finance? 0.42 ducats. All right, so I want to do a little bit of math here. Slow it down so I don't miss out on anything. All right, so we're losing 0.42, and we've got 33 ducats. Basically, that can last us six and a half years. I don't think it's going to take us six and a half years to found this colony. Although it may. Um... It very well may. So, bump it back up to four, and we'll see what happens. Let's see who is texting me. Rise of a pretender. God is with Mary. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to put those down. In fact, they're probably just going to siege that down because we have nothing over here. This is the old country. This is a country that... Wow, well, you're, you're the attacker against them. Okay. Well, like I said, it's the old country. I wonder if this is going to be game over. Okay, we got native problems that we easily won. I need to figure out how to move my capital. Although we'll just let them do that. How bad are we losing money? Not as bad as I thought we were. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can we get that currency of it? New government policy, we can get it. All right, we want to. Uh, yeah, we'll burn that. We're gonna take a low tax rate. Keep it running for the time being. So we'll see what happens here. They can, in fact, I would love for the pretenders to take that out. They may actually save me a little bit of time. Maybe the royal family will flee. Use caution. <laughs> We're not even reading these events at this point. This is more, this will probably be the last uh, episode that I stream. Oh, an excellent minister. Fantastic.
How can I even negotiate with these guys? Rebels will never negotiate. Yeah, they can install him. I don't care. I don't know what that really does for me, but yeah. Looks like we can take more military tech. Yes, we will take that. Um, this is bad. I really don't care. How are you doing? 277. It's rather problematic. Um, y'all can do anything yet? Occupied by pretenders. That's fine. I don't even know what we're going to do about those rebels just may stay there perpetually. For all I care and for all I know. I really don't want to do this. We may have to debase our currency again. It is the last episode though. Triangle trade. Price of slaves. Ugh. That's not good. Slaves are bad news. Slaves are just terrible. How much money we're losing? Oh, we're losing that much money? Like, okay, well, what if I get you to do something like really awesome? There we go. Burn that. That, that help any. Handle them back. Rebels break, break country. I'm okay with that. They can. How do I move the capital? There's got to be a way to do that. I want to make Avalon my new capital. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be here. Trade economy. Government. Not there. Queen Mary Stewart. Um, here's our government. Actually, this is probably Google worthy. I should know how to do this. Just that. How to move. How can you move capital E4? Two hundred admin points. So if I click here, there should be a little crown. Oh, well, this is not good. We can't move our capital to North America yet. Our best bet would be that England declares war on us at some point. Alright, so that's perfect. We have a prince consort. Who is this character? Don't know who he is. Ah. We have rebels, oh, that's fine. We, we knew that was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen because England beat us, beat the crap out of us, and we kind of been exiled to North America not really I mean yeah in, in all reality really there's not there's no not really England's gonna throw their weight around are they still at, how did they win their war I just don't know I don't know I haven't paid enough attention been more focused on paying attention in the new world since England just absolutely should have lacked us 
And we're going to have to debase our currency again. Please declare war on us, England. You can take all your claims and holdings. Alright, we're going to have to debase, debase the currency again. Which is fine. I'm really ill about that too. We work real hard to get rid of that corruption. And there's war with England. And we knew it was going to happen. Wait, why do you have... I don't want these units. Oh, dear Lord. Well, we'll let them get killed. I really want to get exiled in North America. Wait, did, did, did these get unrest? No, they didn't. Alright, well, that's still maintained. How are we making money? Ah, uh, we're getting subsidies from France. I don't mind subsidies from France. It's going to take him a while to get up there. Maybe we can get some more subsidies out of this. Make a little money in the process. Ports are blockaded. That's fine. Growth of the printing industry. We knew that was bound to happen. We can actually take Diplotech, which we have shunned primarily because we've been filling out ideas. Hot dog. All right, England, come kill me. I'm like, what are you waiting for, dude? So level one fort, you got twenty three thousand troops here. Unless you're doing something funny over here. Which I could totally see England doing that. It'll be interesting to see what this piece deal looks like. Maybe game over. I'm not a well versed EU four player. I don't even have a hundred hours under my belt. But it's been a fun little kind of test out. I do like the common universalis mod, which I'm playing right now. It's uh, I've been able to show it off a little better. Like we won that battle. Okay, here's this big stack. You're getting ready to see this army get massacred. I don't know why he's taking so long. Here we go. Let the massacre begin. And we will fully be exiled to North America if it's not completely game over. They should siege that down very quickly. Yeah. Although we did make a little bit of money in the process. Come on, England. I want to get exiled to North America. And I think England's going to be in a pretty good position to form Great Britain. I mean, they, they've got that little nation in front of them. We'll take all our stuff and that should be it. That should be all she wrote. Then we're not going to be worried about continental Europe for a while. Alright, can they go ahead and like make peace with us? If I sue for peace, what happens here? Yep. 99 ducats, which we can't afford. Um, okay. Sure. Good deal. So we're now, we, we now have no, no holdings, so this is where we're at. And yay, Avalon became our new capital. Um, and we need money. We need money, something fierce. Although those, that'll help. We could actually just debase the currency. That pays for that. 
and I think we're probably good to go now. We're good to go to run it at speed four and see how fast we can expand and see if France immediately revokes all of our subsidies, which they probably will. Yeah, who am I to stop them? Let them expand. That's what we want to have happen anyways. Probably used to send him. Uh, sure, they can have privileges in the new world. Why not? Let's go ahead and get this expansion started. Scotland. And natives rose up. Alrighty, we will get rid of them. So Scotland is now in Canada. Because we got kicked out of Europe. They damaged the colony, really? Oh, that's not cool. I guess it'd probably be smart to do this. We don't have the money to build another one just yet, but we will next month. Crap, I didn't want to do that. It's called misclicking. God, but our development is just so terrible. Everything that we build in Europe just gone by the wayside. And did that officially? Yep, that did. All right, I need to slow this down. At least just play on speed three. So we can found an East American colony. Defend the nation. Nope. Improve our prestige? Not really. in colonial eastern america which means we would potentially we could do that i mean i really don't want to do that i want to try to continue to expand in canada so we're not going to take that all right so we do have a state that a core that we can make yes we will core that automatically there we go that looks good to me how are we doing money wise the minute those subsidies go away, we lose money. Oof. We'll see when they do go away. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We are now a tiny state. We knew that. And... Yeah. So there we have it. We got kicked out of... Got kicked out of Scotland. Which stinks because we lost some good provinces there. But that's just part of it. Hopefully we can continue to expand around the coast. Hopefully. I say that. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It would be nice. We do have a free merchant. Which means we probably need to figure out where another... So, yeah, we need to figure out. We, we need to make the best use of use of him that we can which probably means we not in trade range of any of this we're going to have to figure out where another trade node is we just got a uh, it's just not good we're not we're not efficiently using this guy not efficiently using him a buzz kill but that is what it is hopefully we can build up a little bit of a okay so that guy is there okay hmm have y'all grown anymore ah uh, you did you're 133 three. you've definitely grown some more uh, and you've still got room to grow which is good news we got modifiers that help them grow. So over time, that'll actually work out relatively well. Uh, yeah, don't care about that. So when those subsidies go away, we're going to be hurting. So we want to try to bank those subsidies as long as we can. 
build up enough of a surplus and then continue to expand. I mean, that's really all we can do. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six. We'll continue to just go province by province in Canada and move down in the hopes that, you know, we will get some natural organic development. Which is not the worst thing in the world. Defend the nation. Alright, now what we could do... We could definitely try to... I don't know why I'm not doing this. Build a spy network against them. As well as against them. No, I don't want to do that. We need to just continue to... Be, we probably just need to continue to make sure France likes us. And in the meantime, just let it run. That's really all we can do. Though we did get a good start, it looks like France is continuing to expand in the Carolinas. Um, England's got Cuba. Spain has the entire island of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. The Lesser Antilles, it looks like, is owned by England and low, wait, part of this. England, that's the Lesser Antilles. St. Thomas, yeah. Excuse me, St. Thomas. And then it looks like Portugal has done a pretty good job of getting to South America very well. Great Britain. Did they finally form it? Uh, for the most part, yeah. So England is now Great Britain. No longer considered a great power. How? Yeah, well, we're definitely not a great power. Not by any means. Yeah, Great Britain's a great power. What are they talking about? I mean, the Ottomans are still just absolutely waylaying everybody, but that, that's fine. How are y'all doing over here? Not as well as I'd hoped. Although, with that kind of money, we can send a colonist. Which I think would probably not be the worst idea in the world once we get two more troops. One more troop trained. That's what I'm trying to say. One more troop. Climbing Ordney. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> We're not going back to Europe. I had way too much fun there. Getting my rear end handed to me. It was abysmal. I really, I fought, man, I, just a blunder of a battle. Blunder of a war that just perpetually just fell apart. 